uh, my camera going a little weird. Um, the main roads are okay. Side roads are really terrible tonight. Uh, my subdivision is one solid block of ice. So when I was taking Gracie back, the reason why we were kind of warning everybody is the roads are icy out. So be very careful tonight. Um, make sure you let the road crews know that they're doing a great job keeping the salt and stuff down for the main roads and everything. Because I know it's kind of got to be tough, especially in the winter time, you know, working round the clock. And I know they get tired, but they do a great job. So make sure you understand they're heroes and they do a great job. But also don't forget those um, police officers and sheriff's department that have to be out in this and answering calls. You know, 911 operators, you know, they're, in the, they're down there no matter what. Um, fire department, they're in there all the time. Nurses, my gosh, they're in the work 24-7 and they're beat tired and, you know, they have to get to work somehow, but they still do it. So make sure that if you ever know one of any, let them know they're doing a great job. Find their Facebook, tell them that they're doing a great job because these roads, you know, when the weather's bad, I don't think sometimes, I think a lot of us, for, we take it for granted on the people that are out working in all of this. And we just assume it's going to be taken care of, but we forget there are people that actually do it. And uh, anybody over there telling me it's 75 degrees, I'm not looking at my phone, but if you're telling me it's 75 degrees, I'm sending the Arctic Blast your way, buddy. I don't care who you are. Anyway, um, but yeah, no, let these people know they matter. Let them know they're heroes. I mean, uh, so I just like to keep the people that are doing important jobs that they understand that they are important and they matter and they make a difference. Uh, tonight our prayers and everything else are going to go out for the people that have, you know, there's a couple people that lost their life to cancer and stuff. And like my buddy uh, Terry Jones, his uh, father-in-law uh, lost his life. Uh, he was a, he was a army veteran really really nice guy I got to meet him we got to be in the um, Veterans Day parades and stuff with him and then he came down to Hannibal and everything so his last time on earth was spent amongst family and friends and he got to be in the parades and you know things like that matter so don't take for granted the people in your lives ever because you never know what they're going through you don't know who may have cancer or who's been sick um, you know there's reasons why I put what I do up you know, I'm a single dad, so you know, I miss my daughter all the time when I don't have her. I do get along with her mother just fine, but you know, we still have to keep an open mind and an open heart about things that are going on. There are people that are going through divorces and breakups and stuff, and you know, the easiest way, the fastest way, there, there's really no getting around the heartache and the hurt and the pain, but it goes quicker if you learn to forgive yourself for allowing the hardships and then forgive them whether they hurt you or you hurt them or whatever happened you need to learn to forgive them and you got to forgive those people that you've hold grudges against for so long why because if you don't it's gonna boil up inside of you and guess what no one's any better for it sorry I'm in a bad area right now and um, I'm going a little slow because I know even though they're doing a good job with these roads and everything they're still slick so you want to be careful and the rain's still coming down. It's sprinkling, but it's hitting the roads and turning to ice. So even after they go to the roads, some of it's washing away and then turning back to ice again. So you want to be very, very careful. Um, I just want each and every one of you to know whatever your religion is, whoever you are, you are important and you matter. You're very, very important. And we cannot forget there are people that are going through things we don't know. Our kindness sometimes can make the difference in somebody's life, believe it or not. You don't know from day to day whose lives you can change just by a simple kind word, a handshake, a hug. You know, there are truck drivers out there today that may end up losing their life because of the slickness of the roads, ice, and everything else. There, You, you just don't know what somebody's going through, the pain they're going through, the hurt. They, they may feel alone. They may, may feel left out. You know how many single parents feel like they're alone, that they, they, they just, they take the burden of life on their shoulders. I know because I've been one of those many times over, you know, being single for over 11 years, you know, and, you know, talking to some great people here and there, but, you know, sometimes we just need to learn to be kind and polite to people. See, you know, these drivers out here are doing great and they're going slow like me, but then all of a sudden I got somebody coming up on me, going to try to sit there and convince me to go faster and it's not going to happen. Why? Because no offense I don't want to get in a wreck tonight and I kind of 
kind of like my life a little bit and I really don't want to run into one of my neighbor's houses or anything and have to explain to my neighbors. Now my drive's going to be extremely slick. This is where I was slipping earlier. So anyway, I just want each and every one of you to know that while we're out there, we're debating on, you know, listening to different things going on. I've met some fabulous people. And you now I see on here, use on here, I met her in Chicago, Travis, Mall. You know, I've met some of my greatest friends throughout life. And I plan on meeting them all again. I plan on seeing them. I plan on being around them because you know what? They matter to me. I care about each and every one of you. And so some people live overseas. You know, I had the privilege and the honor of going to so many different countries when I was in the Marine Corps. And sure, I'm not the kind of person that preaches religion to people. I get that. I believe in leading by example. But I've got friends that are Hindu, Muslim, Christian, Catholic. And the entire world. And I love them. And I don't want anybody ever taking away what they believe. But on the other hand, they don't push religion on me either. But I respect them and their religion. I respect who they are. You know, my daughter growing up, you know, I want her to live in an equality world, you know. My friends are of every color of the rainbow. My friends, some of them are straight, some of them are gay, some of them are bi, some of them are black, white, some of them are Indian, some of them are Canadian, you know, some of them are Mexican, some of them are from Honduras, some of them are from Africa, some of them are from China, some of them are from Vietnam, some of them are from the Philippines, but I don't care. I love asking them where they're from because I love culture and I love history. And I believe that we all need to learn each other's culture and history because I think history is fascinating. I love it. I didn't like it when I was in school. But thank you all for talking to me while I was coming home. Now let's see if I can get in it without sliding everywhere. I think I made it. But, you know, this is just it. Unlike a lot of people, I understand that I can talk about things and to people and others cannot. I'm just an extrovert, you know, it's who I am, it's what I've always been known to do. But I actually try to be there for my friends, I try to be there and I try to care and I want to see some people. And I want to see and I want you to know that you matter. I don't care who you are, who you marry, who you date, I don't care who you're with, I don't care if you're single, I don't, I don't care if you're a parent, I don't care what your religion is. What I care is that you're happy. What I care is you don't step on my freedoms like I'll never step on yours because you know what I will protect your freedoms in hopes that one day you'll protect mine I'm not gonna push anything on you because it's my space and my friends are allowed in my space you're allowed in my space each and every one of you matters to me and I and I pray to God each and every one of you is safe every day you know I understand some people have they feel they gotta pretend to be something that they're really not because they need to show the world but you want to know something? I know the truth about each and every one of you. I know that you're special because of who you are. And you know, as hard as I am on people sometimes, I still believe in them. I still believe in you. I still believe in who you are. I still believe in what you do. Yes, I understand we all go through stuff. I'm hard, but I'm fair. I can forgive at a drop at a moment's notice. But a lot of times I do things because I do know there's that little bit inside of you that I can push a little bit farther it's just so you get over just like a parent will always push a child to do their best when they're scared keep going you know because they know they're safe but the child doesn't know it and that's what we have to do sometimes we have to teach each other we have to be there for each other we have to push each other yes yeah, sometimes we're gonna be blamed we're not public or not politically correct all the time we're not always gonna be nice but nice never won a war nice never got the job done but in the end, like yesterday, during our Marine Corps meeting, we all argued and we debated, but we did not fight. We argued, we debated, we had a good, good conversation. At the end of the day, we're giving each other hugs, patting each other on the back, drinking, having a good time. Because it was one of the best meetings we've had in a long time. And it showed each other that we cared. It showed each other, hey, you know what? Our Marine Corps League is alive and kicking because we work together. Working together means you're not always going to get along. Husband and wives don't always get along. There's no such thing as the perfect marriage where everybody just does what each other does. What happens is you've got to take and you've got to debate. You've got to have conversations. You've got to have open communication. You've got to do this with your family. You've got to do it with your friends. You especially have to do it with your kids. You have to allow a debate. You have to allow an argument every once in a while. Why? 
because people are going to pent up inside thinking they can't say anything. They're thinking they're going to upset you and hurt you, and they may just do that. But guess what? You've got to allow that, then forgive them, and then put your two cents on the table. You respect them like they respect you, and yes, you're going to debate. You're going to argue. But in the end, at the end of the day, you walk away thinking, feeling better because you both understood each other. Sometimes you're going to have to agree to disagree because not everybody's always going to get along. But I tell you what, open communication, talking, listening to each other, loving each other, caring about each other, you're going to have debates. You're going to have times where you're not always going to see eye to eye. And I know, I'm sure a lot of people in the Marine Corps League yesterday, if you were watching from the outside in, you're like, oh my God, they're all... No, because nobody called anybody a name. Nobody threatened anybody. Nobody said anything bad about each other. They said how they felt about different things coming up. But they also didn't sit there like a lump on the log and just go along with what everybody says. See, in our league, not a person takes a dime for anything. But we do have scholarships. We do have... Um, uh, Takeout nights, uh, takeover nights at different restaurants. We do things with the fair. We do things with um, soapbox for derby. We're doing things with tin dusters. We're doing things with lug nuts. We're doing things with horses. We're doing things with the fair, the KC barbecue. We're doing things over at the state fair with uh, the beer tents. Uh, we do things with um, other units. We're teaming up with the Legion on several projects. And we're getting so big that we have to monitor each other to make sure that we don't take on more than what we can handle but you know when all of a sudden you're starting getting things going now all of a sudden we're doing more events also we got the dances coming up we're doing theme dances at the veterans home we're doing a bunch of teen dances daddy daughter dances we're taking over um, Scotty's um, in June and we're going to do some putt putting go karts laser tag we got so much stuff coming up but here's the whole thing do we all get along but we but guess what in the middle we finally come to a conclusion and it's better than what any person thought and yesterday I know a lot of people at the meeting thought oh my god you know it went no it went perfect and you gotta understand I was up there and I saw our president over there sweating I saw the a couple of the guys up there like I don't know what to do I don't know what to say but here's just it they didn't have to know what this doer say because everybody got along and they helped each other and you know what? They even forgave each other at the end of the day. And they thought they may have went through it. They never did. But they did perfect. Why? Because not everybody's going to agree. If everybody agrees, we can't get anything done. If everybody says no, we can't get anything done. If everybody says yes, we can't get anything done. Yes, if you all say yes, you can't get anything done. You know why? Because you need to believe in what you're doing, not just doing it. We believe in the dances. We believe in the soapbox derbies. We believe in the great cardboard boat regattas. We believe that we need to be, we know we need to believe, and I believe in each one of you, and I believe that communication is one of the greatest skills you can ever have. So remember this, tell your friends you love them, tell your friends you care about them, give them a hug, give them a kiss, Charlotte, I care about you, Mike, I care about you, Jessica, I care about you, you are awesome, okay, Tara Walker, I care about you, Denver, I care about you, Craig, I care about you, Richard Correa, my Marine Corps brother, I love you and I care about you. Tina Lisi, I love you and I care about you. You're awesome. Travis, I love you, buddy. You, you are awesome. I love you. I want to come up and see you in Chicago because you're great. Tina Earhart, my God, you're one of you're probably the oldest friend I have on here. Why? Because we grew up together. You and your brother Michael and I, we went to school together ever since preschool. I love your entire family. Mike Batten, my God. I'm still mad at you for saying it's 75 where you're at. I can't talk to you. I'm sorry. I can't talk to you. It's 75. Nathan Mueller, I know, my friend, you are a drill instructor, you're a Marine, you're hardcore, and I love you. You're great. And you know what? You know what makes you great? You're a great father and you're a great husband. Those are characteristics you get to add to your portfolio of excellence, my friend. Mike Batten, I'm still mad at you. I can't help it. He's over there where it's warm, and I'm over here where it's cold and the ice on the roads. But this is just it. I want everybody to know this tonight. I've got to do a meeting here in a minute. But I want you to know this. Each and every one of you is important. Each and every one of you makes a difference. Remember to have open communication with your friends and family. Remember to be kind. But remember the three forgivenesses. Forgive yourself. Forgive your friends. And ask forgiveness from those you may have hurt or those that have hurt you. So, the forgivenesses. That's key to everything you do. My name is Jeff. I'm going to do one more thing tonight when I get on here because I need to practice for this weekend. 
but I want you to know this. You're awesome. You're outstanding. I wish I didn't have so many walls up in my life to where I push people away every once in a while, but I'm working on it. And I'm working on making sure that I can tell you and that you know that you matter every day. Because I want my little girl one day to look back and say, you know what? Dad cared. He had a mission. He knew that communication was key. He knew that he messed up. He messes up all the time, but he also knew to apologize, forgive himself, forgive others, and ask forgiveness. He also knew that never hold a grudge. Go where you're celebrated. Don't go where you're tolerated. You know what? You don't need to impress anybody. The only person you need to be proud of in your life is you. And you need to always grow. Make tomorrow better than today. Make today better than yesterday. And by the end of the year, if you keep doing one thing better than today, by the end of the year, you're going to blow every single goal, every single ambition away. You may lose the weight that you want to lose. You may get the job you want to get. Or you may be on the verge of doing something spectacular that nobody even had a clue about. You may fight and win against cancer. You know what? You may fight and win against diabetes. Did you know right now, over in Israel, there's they actually think they found a cure for cancer? All of a sudden, everybody's putting it down. But I tell you what, I don't want to put it down. I want to freaking celebrate whoever's doing it. I want it to be out there. Because I don't want these big pharmaceutical companies to keep my friends and family sick. I want there to be a cure. And if they're saying there's a possibility for a cure, let's go ahead and throw some money at it. Because you know what? We need to make sure there's a cure. Because life is short enough the way it is. We don't need any more diseases. Hey, you matter to me. Each and every one of you is important. Thank you for being my friend. Thank you, thank you each and every one of you. My name is Jeff Jansen. I got to get inside because I got a meeting. Talk to you soon. Bye.